Oh, frog. That's cool. I will in just a sec. Okay, well, I'm going to try to explain what I did with this little jet boat intake. Um, you can see it there. It's kind of an experiment that, uh, it's like a dream I had, then I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to make it. This is why I made it, though, and I'm going to draw you some pretty sweet pictures here. So, at speed, I noticed that the jet boat was kind of planing up on top of the water. And in my head, this is what was happening. So, sitting still, this is our boat. And sitting still, the water line was somewhere like this. Well, as the boat was going faster and faster, as with all boats, the uh, boat sort of rises up out of the water and it starts to ride on top of the water as opposed to in the water so much. So at speed, it was riding more or less on the water instead of in the water. And the jet grate, intake grate that I had was sticking out of the bottom of the boat. So what would happen at speed, especially in the beginning when it was stuck out a whole bunch, is that the water would try to push the boat up and it would ride on that grate only. And in the very beginning, if you watch the first videos I made, um, the boat would actually hop once it started going fast, super annoying. So what I did was I took that grate and I belt sanded it to where it was about as minimal as I could make it. But it still wasn't perfect. I still felt like the boat would reach a top speed that didn't really match the power that the boat had to offer. And what I thought was happening what I think is still happening I'm not real sure so here's the jet all by itself bottom of the boat transom like I said there's some sweet pictures so at speed the boat would start to rise up on top of the surface start to ride on the surface and as a result, the water would hit the front of this grate here. And I felt like the only part of the jet that was getting filled with water was something like this amount at speed. So I felt like there was still all this area that I needed to fill up with water that I could just shoot out the back. Because I had the power, I have a giant motor in this thing. I have the power to do it. So I thought, well, what can I do to get more water in the boat, in the jet, at speed, which I felt like was my main problem. So I made, I have pictures I'll show you. Um, I wanted to scoop the water up, I wanted to trap the water, allow it to not pass this great intake. 
I wanted it to get caught, trapped, and then forced out the back. So I made a scooped intake grate. Um, there's a picture of that. This is what it looks like today. I've ran this. I can't say that I have seen any improvement over the traditional grate and I'm not real sure why but I, I mean I don't even know if it's gone faster I can't I couldn't see any changes necessarily what I have noticed is that uh, when I go from like three quarters throttle to full throttle that full that range that that last quarter of a throttle the boat gets louder the rpms increase but the boat does not actually speed up and i feel like that's gotten worse with this new grate and i don't know why the idea was to get the uh the jet the scoop here let's see that's there to protect the grate so it doesn't actually get doesn't actually get hung up on things this part right here if this if this would have hit a log or something it would hit that and it would throw it up over the scoop and as are angled for the exact same reason so that hopefully it wouldn't just you know slam into something get caught like a hook and then you know break something so the idea of the scoop would be to grab the water and hopefully fill up more or all of this area with water so that that's just bait that's that's fuel for propulsion you know you get it in you compress it here in the nozzle and then it, and then it shoots it out the back the more substance you have in here this case being water the faster you should go because you're you're providing the vessel with more thrust. Now I don't know if I made the scoop too big and it's causing as much drag as it is improving, you know, thereby therefore just canceling out all the work that's gone into it. I don't know. If anybody has any suggestions on this, what you what I think what they think I should do different. I mean, I'm all ears. I want, I think like, th I think this boat has so much power. It has about eight horsepower. That, I mean, it should be very, very fast. I don't feel like at any point the last quarter of the throttle movement should be nothing. So I don't know. This is what I've done. I thought it was going to work. I felt very strongly that it was going to work and it really kind of didn't it didn't hurt it sure didn't help it so i don't know i'll post i'll put some photos in there too i'll probably put the photos first actually of the uh the building process and i have some sketches that i drew uh, before i made the thing any ideas are welcome let me know if you think i should go back to the old grate which i'm tempted to do you know, maybe that's the right the right answer. I don't know.